Dear GCM family, this is Pastor Ben. This video is going out on Wednesday, February the 24th. We'll have dinner tonight in the Fellowship Hall beginning at 5 o'clock and service in the sanctuary at 6.30. Tonight for dinner, we will have tortilla casserole served along with black beans and nacho chips and dessert. Of course, there'll be bread and desserts available for take home. And we do have distance seating as well as outdoor seating available during that dinner time. Just before I get to five minutes for your faith on this video, um, those uh, who were here on Sunday heard the announcement that dad was in the hospital, my dad. And uh, many have um, inquired about how he's doing over the course of the past couple of days and been in contact with some. He was uh, doing pretty good on Sunday, though in the hospital. He did have a setback where he went into ICU for about a day's period of time. As of the recording of this video, thankfully, and thanks much for the prayers of so many, he is doing much better back into a regular room. He's still going to be in there a few days, but his numbers, uh, oxygen numbers, CO2 numbers, of course, uh, some of you be aware, you learn a lot about numbers when you're there from different uh, doctors and what have you, but he's doing much better. Uh, still keep him in prayer, still needs a lot of prayer, but thankfully he's doing quite a bit better and uh, should be out in the next few days. So thank the Lord for that and thank you for your prayers and concern for him. Speaking of five minutes for your faith, we've been in a series on Sunday mornings on the book of Galatians this past Sunday morning. We were in Galatians 4, and I just want to touch on a brief portion of that. Galatians 4, 4 says, When the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, that he might redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. Now, that's uh, very much a heavy theological verse, but I want to just touch on two concepts. First, that Jesus came fully God, fully man, and he paid the price of redemption. The concept that the Apostle Paul is dealing with there through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit is that of someone who is a slave. And back in Bible days, people were slaves. There were some 60 million of them at the time in the Roman Empire, people will estimate, that many of them were slaves because they had been in debt uh, so much that they had basically sold themselves into slavery or indebted themselves to slavery. Some were in slaves, of course, because they've been conquered by uh, the Romans, certain people groups. But for the most part, it was because they uh, had uh, incurred great debts. And when a wealthy person would come to redeem a slave, they would pay the price of redemption to the slave's current owner. And they could either take that slave under themselves for their service, or they could set the slave free. When Jesus died upon the cross, he set us free. He paid the debt that we might be redeemed. It's a transactional term that's used there in Galatians 4, speaking of redemption. A price that was paid that we might be redeemed. Transactional. But then he goes on to talk about that we might receive the adoption as sons. Now, adoption, that's not so much a transactional term, although in the adoptions back in the New Testament days by the Romans, when they would adopt someone, there was a price to be paid for that as well, if someone were to be adopted into a family. But it's not just a transactional term. Adoption means it's a relational term. That means that we who are slaves haven't just been set free, but we have been adopted into the family of God, made his sons, made his daughters set at his table. I used this past Sunday an illustration that here recently there was a report that came out of um, many cars, I forget how many, going through a Taco Bell drive through yeah, I thought it was Chick-fil-A. Benji corrected me and said it was through Taco Bell. I trust his memory more than mine. But that the cars were going through the drive through and for several, I mean, it was like 10, 20, maybe even 30 or more cars. I forget the exact number that were going through the drive through and each one paid the tab for the car coming behind them. They said uh, they paid it forward is the term that the world would use. And that's nice to do. And if I'm ever behind you in a drive-thru and you do that, it'd be much appreciated, <laughs> especially if it's Chick-fil-A. 
But on a serious note, they did that. They paid the debt of the one that was behind the beach and kept doing that. Now, it's one thing to do that. That's a nice thing to do, a wonderful deed, right in a person's day, to be sure. But many of those that pay the debt for the person behind them, they're willing to do that, but they're not going to have them over for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Why? Because they'll do nice to a person just to be nice, but that person behind them is not part of the family. Good news, brothers and sisters. If you're in Christ, the price has been paid for your redemption, and not just a transactional uh, event where a price has been paid so that you might just go free and go out on your own. No, if you're in Christ, the price has been paid that you might be adopted into the family to be close and near to the heart of God. So much so, that Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us that where he is, there we may also be. For in his Father's house are many mansions, literally dwelling places, that we would be in the household of God, in the family of God. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. May you know it is the hope you're calling of God in Christ Jesus and the surpassing greatness of his power extended to all who believe. Amen and amen.